So are you, I would assume then that you strongly disagree with um, some of the instances that are happening of uh, black people requesting um, all black dorms as a safe space and as a solution to them feeling tokenized by the presence of white people on campus? Two, you asked two different questions there. In general, I, do, I believe in the diversity of education, of classrooms, of dorms. But if there is a situation where people feel harmed or unsafe. No, not harmed. They just, they just, you just said they too, feel unsafe. Well, they, they use the word unsafe, but what actually is going on is they feel tokenized, meaning that there's too many white people, so they want their own. I, I think it's okay for people to carve out their own spaces so of any sort. So you're actually okay with discrimination, but you prefer to it as positive discrimination because it ends up being good, um, in your opinion, because it is discrimination. No, I, I don't, and you're I don't okay consider that it's discrimination. you're okay with positive segregation. As I'm long as you're choosing segregation. I'm okay with separation, not segregation. There's a difference. Well, if it's an all-black dorm, it's segregation. It's, it's, it's a separate dorm. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not segregation. Again, white people aren't asking. Again, Du Bois College House in, 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 at University of Pennsylvania is a classic example. Right? How is an all-black dorm not segregation? Because white people aren't being denied access to it. No, that's what they're creating. All black dorms where only but again, black, people can, black people can stay. But again, as a, as, as a practical matter, white people aren't asking to be in these dorms. It's not as if there's a line of white people saying, we would love to be in this dorm, but these black people won't let us in. But, Just like there's not a line of people saying, I would love, there's not a line of white women saying, you know, I wouldn't go to Spelman and they won't let me in. Because the truth is, if you that apply is, that, is, that is what happens because then what happens if a white person says, I'm not okay with this, is they get attacked. Um, can somebody remind me of the campus that uh, Brett Weinstein got chased off of? Evergreen campus, where they decided it was only black people were going to be allowed in the campus for that day. Um, and one professor who was white said, well, I want to stay here and teach my class. And they um, chased him into a room with a bat. And yeah, this shouldn't happen. We can, we can agree on okay, that. But, so, but that's but, not the same thing the, as, the, as an admissions policy. But the culture policy. that, first off, an all-black dorm is racist. And this is, what, this is my problem, is that somehow we've arrived suddenly into a place where black Americans are authoring the exact same thing that our ancestors fought to end discrimination, segregation, but we've made a spin on it and said, but this is a positive form of discrimination. This is a positive form of segregation because we're choosing it. It's wrong. It's just wrong. I mean, I, I don't see how you can't just plainly say an all black dorm is racist. It should be all black, all white, all spent. It's racist. It should never exist at all. Okay. You sleep where you sleep. You don't like sleeping there. You leave the school. You can decide to go somewhere else, but we don't play that game on college campuses. We don't play, you know, X amount of people quotas are going to be allowed into school. It needs to be a merit based. I don't care what color you are. Let me see how you perform. Let me see. And yes, maybe looking at the activities without knowing what color you are, I might say, okay, his ST is a little lower, but he has taken on, he was playing full-time basketball and all that. So I think he'd be a good fit. Again, race does not need to be present for that determination to be made. We, I, but, I think, but why is race the only thing that we can't consider? So for example, we shouldn't consider it because it's racist. LeBron James. If yes. LeBron James were going into college right now with a lower SAT score and a lower GPA, and you're the president of the university and he wants to go to Princeton, he wants to play Ivy League basketball, right? And he's, he's, he's a little bit lower than everyone else. Do you not let him in because there's a white guy who's above him? Let him into the school if if his SAT is low yeah. and he's not doing well. But, but he's an extraordinary basketball player and he's good enough to be in the school. I'm not saying he's, his numbers are you, good. You still don't need his race on the piece of paper to determine that. No, I, I'm, take his race off. Let's yeah, take off race. That's my point. Okay, let's pick a white guy. Let's Dirk Nowitzki wants to, wants to apply. My point is, if someone had an extraordinary talent like basketball, we we, we let basketball players in all the time with lower GPAs. Right, but I'm don't saying that determination. Him. No, regardless, if you're going to say we want to make sure we have a healthy mix, you should not be hitting what race you are, period, when you apply to school. And that's, and that's what my point. And what I, I get you, I fully comprehend your point. What I'm saying is, is that we should consider in the same way that we're willing to have a diverse group of people. Like I'm, I want to have some flute players and I want to have some soccer players and I want to have uh, some, you know, some people from Iowa. It's OK to say I want some black people. But so is it OK to say that I want you know, Jewish people. Yes. So you're okay with all of it. Yes. I, we want there all Asians. There is a Asians. long history of excluding Jewish people from universities, it and is. so we had to create spaces for Jewish. We, we so part of why you have a um, what's the school in New York? It begins with a B. A Brandeis. Part of why you have a Brandeis is precisely because there has been a denial of of Jewish people, both professors mm -hmm. and students, into mainstream universities. So we had to create space for them, right? And so I wouldn't go to Brandeis and say, "Oh my God, that's." That, that, that's a, that's a, um, that's a, that's a, that's a segregated university. I say, no, good for them. That's a beautiful choice. And black people can go there now. White people, Gentiles can go there now, mm -hmm. right? Christians and Muslims can go there now, you know, but it's largely a predominantly and historically Jewish institution, which is great. And what I'm saying similarly is I'm okay with black folk having that. I'm okay with carving out spaces for ourselves when we, when, when, for people but who have been But you would never marginal. be okay with it if white people did that. And if I were at Harvard, I mean, excuse me, if I were at Howard, and there were a group of white people who said, you know what, we're the 50 white kids at Howard and we want to have our own space. Cool. I'm good with that. All white dorm at Howard. You think that'd be, that would go down well? 
I don't I, I think it's such a counterfactual hypothetical because most white people don't want to go to Howard because they don't be around that many black people. And that's OK. You know what I mean? In fact, most people who go to, you know, ends up going to Howard athletes oftentimes for undergrad, not grad athletes, because they're a division. They want to be a division one basketball player. And they didn't get into Duke or Wake Forest or what they didn't get recruited. But they go they'll go to Howard, right, which is a good school, but not the best basketball school. Mm -hmm. It's actually very interesting, interestingly similar to what happens to these black kids when they're going to Duke or Wake Forest. And so and it's, I'm OK with that. I don't say, well, why are we letting that white guy in as an athlete? Call me crazy, but I think discrimination is discrimination. There's no such thing as positive I agree. discrimination. Now, I want 